Pastoria City. Give me that music. Is so good. Oh, hello. I said hello. I'm visiting here to see the Great Marsh. I'm staying at the Lakeside Hotel. Isn't this where the Safari Zone is? Oh, yeah, it is, isn't it? Pastoria Great Marsh Observatory Gate. I forgot about this. I used to freaking go around the Safari Zone all the time as a kiddo. Yeah, the package hasn't arrived from the Veilstone Warehouse yet. To wait here until then, I'm going batty from this wait. Oh man, I wish I could do something that involved lots of explosives. Yeah, this is going to be a smashing job for Team Galactic. Absolutely smashing, just like Nigel Thornberry. Yeah, first and foremost, let's go ahead and restore our Pokemon. I completely forgot about the Savari Zone in this game, straight up. I honestly completely forgot about it. My oh my. This is a raw mag of PMD Sky where the heroes are able to prove team skill sabotage them. And you watch with Galea's chat up, banishes team skull from the guild. My oh my, I'm curious to see this freaking raw mag now. But regardless, now if I ever figure out how to get like mic working within you know, this software and such. We do now have Hide the Pain Herald, the chat on. You know. Like, if it's possible to, like, within the emulator, to just give it whatever sound effect for, like, the microphone to make chat hot cry, I would love to just, like, find a sound clip online of just, like, someone screaming. You know? <laughs> that chat hot does every time you send it out. I want to find that. <laughs> he forgot that Marl was named I was in Nam. Yeah, the freaking <laughs> The Meryl that had seen some serious stuff, you know Isn't there something in like one of these houses? I don't remember in the Great Marsh quick trams on rails are used for transportation They prevent damage to the Great Marsh's ecosystem Though the name says quick their movements or anything, but they're the quick trams that traverse the Great Marsh. How what? Wait the TV Hello Tune into this show and you'll always be on the cutting edge of fashion. You guessed it, it's the Trend Tracker Show. Let's go to our latest trendy news story. Take it away. This is Helena bringing you on the spot weather. A steady downpour continues to fall on Route 212. This is your chance to stud your loved one's name to the skies. Forget about an umbrella. Think of the dramatic possibilities. That's a weather brought to you by Helena. Don't go away, we have another trendy news story next. It's time, your town's best three. Today, Pastoria City's best three features go under a microscope. First, number three, Pastoria's observatory's telescope. Nothing can escape its probing eye. Next, number two, the Pastoria's great marsh with the not so quick trams. The honor of Pastoria's best feature goes to Krogunk, Pastoria's official mascot Pokemon. Well, do you guess any of the top three features correctly? Take a Pastoria City and do a tour of all its sights and sounds. See you around, folks. I want to see some of the news interviews of, like, earlier in this playthrough and stuff. Just have chat out using Dark Souls death scream. My goodness. Have you seen that video where Mickey Mouse is goofy and dumb? No? What? Pastoria's gym leader is awesome with his water attack. You know what I mean when you challenge him with my tactical fridge. Oh, yeah, there's, like, berries here. Let's pick the berries. Let's pick the berries and stuff. Put away the person berry and the thing, and then we go and plant another another berry. Maybe the person berry. What happens if you press this button? Oh, I guess if you just wanted to exclusively use the touch screen instead of the... Instead of like the buttons and stuff, I guess, for whatever reason. Which might actually be really good for people like me with a DS Lite that had the A button just stop working. So I guess it works out, but then how do you interact with this with like the touch screen? I guess I don't get it. I don't get it then. I don't understand the point in that case. Yeah, let's pick them berries and stuff. Yeah, that. Let's plant that on the ground. Not a berry is planted in the soft, earthy soil. It's a person berry. Want to pick it? Yeah, we'd love to pick the person berry. Thank you for asking. Put away the person berry in the berry's pocket. Soft and earthy state. Soft, earthy soil. Want to plant a berry? Heck yeah. Remember when the DS had the motto, touching is good? Yeah, I feel like with the DS and the and the Wii, they were like, it's new, so we have to base everything around it. Like, remember freaking basically every Wii game ever, where you wouldn't navigate menus like a normal freaking video game, but you had to point the Wii remote at the screen to select things on the menu? Man, good times. Good times. Back when they were like, oh, it does something in this new way. We have to base everything around it. I have to go to Celestia on town for my big brother. The newspaper gives me heart scales for running errands. Yeah, I did that earlier. 
Everyone calls me the Pokemon Move Maniac. I prefer Move Tutor. I will know every... I know every move that Pokemon can learn while they're leveling up, and I can teach Pokemon those moves. I can teach Move Tutor Pokemon to yours if you'd like. If you trade me a Heart Scale. Oh, that's it. An honest to goodness Heart Scale. Let me guess you want me to teach you all your Pokemon move. Which move needs tutoring? So we can finally do this if we want, and we can finally give Flareon here a Water-type move. But... Once we defeat this gym, we're gonna get like surf anyway. That's gonna be a better move than the water gun that we could currently learn, you know? Here where I'm standing, I'm smack dab in the middle of town. Okay, I don't know where we actually get surf from, but this should be the gym that makes surf possible to use. Try the safari game, Pastoria's Great Marsh. I might just do that. We've been to the Pokemon Mansion since our Route 212. The owner of Mr. Backlot likes to brag about his herd of rare Pokemon. Maybe I should buy some more Pokeballs from the this rock looks suspicious. Wow, apparently there was nothing on it. It wasn't suspicious enough. Like, we gotta get that HM from some- What the heck is this? It's a wood carving of the Pokemon Krogunk. Even though it's made of wood, it looks like it's seeping poison. Shout out to Castlevania Dawn of Sorrow, where all the game's bosses require a touchscreen minigame. If you fail, the boss restores, like, half their health. That- That sounds like pain. Definitely sounds like pain. We're stocking up on more Pokeballs again. This is what we're doing. Gotta buy them in sets of 10 if you want the best bang for your buck with the Premier Balls. Is what you gotta do. Gotta keep on buying a bunch. Because my goodness, we did wind up using a whole bunch on that freaking chat dot. If it sounds absolutely disgusting, that's because it is. I believe it. I believe it. Well, yeah, go ahead. Put these in the Pokeball pocket and yada yada. Here you are. Thank you. I'll get one more. I'll get one more set. So we'll have 112 Pokeballs. We'll be stocked up for a while. We will definitely be stocked up for a good while here. I think I have a few escape ropes. I believe. Welcome, what do you need? What do you sell? Airmail, nest ball, dusk ball, quick ball. I'll get 10 of these. 10,000! I'll, I'll get 10. Just in case I ever want them for whatever reason. So expensive! Is this whole reason area is better than of the, is the better of the two Sorrow games. You know, I've never actually played a single Castlevania game in my life. I'm sorry to say. Great Marsh keeps the weather cool in the summertime. Good town for water type Pokemon. I believe it. I believe it. What's here? This looks like something that would be secret here. No? Really? No secret item or anything? Hmm, it looks like there would be. Or something. Route 212. And here it rains. Such good music, but we'll probably come do stuff there afterwards. Where do we get surf from? I can always check my guidebook. Hiking all around the Sinnoh region, I love planting berries wherever I go. I'll give you a berry too, please plant it somewhere. Haban berry! The Haban berry, you'll say. My berries is good for Pokemon, provides with more things to eat in the wild. Mr. Gathers berries every day. Okay, well, I'm grabbing my book. I'm grabbing, ah! I'm grabbing the Tome of Truth! That's what I'm doing. Route 209's music sounds like 21 cuts by Green Day, something I've never heard before, I'm sorry to say. Alright, let's flip through some pages. Yeah, is what we better do. Um, let's see here. Pastoria City doesn't say anything about surf. Um, wait, a boy gives you the macho brace. There's a boy in the house just north of the Pokemon, a Pokemon who wants to see some combi. Talk to him when you have both a male and a female combi in your party, and he'll give you the macho brace. It helps make your Pokemon get stronger. That sounds, like, really painful to, uh, do, though. So maybe we don't actually get surf until... There's Pastoria Great Marsh. Doesn't say anything about surf. I thought that we'd get it around here or something, right? Maybe I'll Google it? Is it in the next town, maybe? I don't even know. I'm gonna freaking Google it because I would think that after this next gym battle would be like the option to use it at least, right? Pokemon Platinum HM Surf. Was it somewhere earlier and I missed it? Where can I find surf? Um, let's see here. Oh, it is something that I just, like, automatically get as, like, part of the story, but, like, way onward. Gosh darn it. Well, yeah, so after a while, I guess. So I'll flip back a few pages and such. I'll put my bookmark in and put the Tome of Truth back on my broken computer over there. Is what I'll- Whoa, I just bumped my thing. My goodness. Okay, well. So, should we just continue? Like, we could use a heart scale and, you know, have Flareon here actually learn a water type move. 
but... Uh, do we just want to wait for, like, Surf? Maybe, maybe. Oh, gee, I just got a freaking... Wow, look at this text message. I got a text message from IRHC926 at something.org. I'm not going to read the whole thing out because I don't want anybody looking into it. RBC alert. We have detected unusual transactions on your card, yada yada. To avoid any suspicions, please secure your account here. And then, you know, an app. And not even proper... Some things aren't even spelled correctly and there's not even proper spacing. Man, totally legit. Man, I better freaking respond to that to get my account figured out. I'm gonna... I might just go use a heart scale, whatever. I don't see myself using it a whole lot in the playthrough anyway. Love strategy guides more than looking stuff up on the internet because, like, you're consulting the ancient tomes of knowledge. I freaking love that book. I have one for Diamond and Pearl here, too. Want to see how freaking run down this thing is? Look how much use this thing has got. You can barely see it with, like, the light. But, like, this thing is really freaking, you know, torn apart. You can see, like, all the wear and tear and stuff like that. I freaking loved my Diamond and Pearl guidebook here back in the day. And then there's like the Platinum guidebook, which is like, you know, double the, double the thickness. And I love, I love like going through it and being able to, you know, see everything in full color and, you know, it just felt so nice. Man, the side is like more worn out than stuff that's remaining. My goodness, let's put the guidebook back there. If we ever do cover Pokemon Black and White on the channel, I technically have a Pokemon Black and White one as well. Is also the thing, and it's like the thinnest of the bunch. But it's another one of those situations where it's like, you know, really nice, really nice kind of formatting, full color with like everything. I really like these guidebooks. I don't know if they still make them anymore. I don't, even if they do make them anymore, I don't really think I'd want one for something like Sword and Shield or anything like that anyway, but... But, you know, back in the day, with, like, all the things that you could do, like, around everywhere, guidebooks was where it was at, you know? a handbook for black and white and that helped you heavily yeah i remember you know freaking using my diamond pearl and platinum guidebooks all the time it was it was great which moves should i teach you should teach water gun yeah we'll we'll recall water gun so that we can actually use a water type finally you know yeah it's about time. We've had this Vaporeon in our party for however long, not even being able to use a single water attack. Let's remedy that. I handed over a heart scale in exchange. There you go. I suck at leaving buildings. I'm really bad at it. Like, my goodness. But yeah. My oh my. Your Wi-Fi is finally letting you type it wasn't earlier? It's rather... <laughs> rather strange, but hello, hello. Yeah, the best water type. The best water type. Flareon. Unbelievable. I can't believe it. I remember the Safari Zone. I used to spend so much time in here as a kid, catching Pokemon here, you know? When you're walking on the bog, sometimes you sink right in. There's something pretty cool about it, though. And if you turn while you're stuck, sometimes Pokemon may pop out. I mean, I'm not imagining this. A great Marsh's Pokemon seems to be different from the ones yesterday. Oh, yeah, doesn't it, like, change throughout the week or something like that? And that's how it worked? Was the thing? I see you're redeeming name and Pokemon. Well, if we catch some Pokemon in the Safari Zone here, feel free to go ahead and name that in that case. Howdy, you're playing the Safari game? I'd like to try my game out at the same time. The rule, yep, there is only one, is real simple. All you have to do is capture five or more Pokemon in one Safari game. If you can do that, I'll give you the Pokage app matchup checker. I guess we're doing that. You can get a Scorpy here? Are you saying that I should get a Scorpy? Welcome to the Great Mars, the home of Pastoria's Safari game. All you can catch for just 500. Yeah, all you can catch when they give you a limited amount of Pokeballs. Uh, would you like to play a Safari game? So we'll now have 30,006 bucks in her pocket. Received 30 Safari Balls. Oh, it's 30. I thought it was 50. I wonder if I'm getting mixed up with another game. Man, I wish I had 30,006 bucks in my pocket. I wish. Yeah, Drapheon is pretty good. Yo, okay. Okay. Do you pronounce it Drapheon or Drapion? I see I see some people pronounce it Drapion, and I'm like, why? Also, why don't you have a shadow? Quick, quick, out in the six, to and fro we go, we're quick. If you think about going deep into the marsh, I recommend you take the Great Marsh Quick Trams. I sort of remember this, area five, and there's like different Pokemon in each area and like each day of the week or something like that. Pick this up during the Safari game. Hey, look, a bot. Oop, just go ahead and ban that. I don't collect shards, you can have it, take it even. Okay, cool. Well... Man, it's been a long time. What's the- Oh, that's just a button to like go to other areas and stuff. Am I stuck? 
beat you to it. I was still lurking here on the lookout for any nayer do wells. Safari balls. I forget exactly how it works. Mud makes it more likely to be caught, but increases the chance that it flees. Bait increases the chance that it sticks around, but decreases the chance of catching it. I think I strip don't remember. I strip don't remember. Yeah, there's bots all over the place. You see a bunch of them on Twitch. The most common ones are those ones that are like, want to be famous? Buy followers, primes, and viewers at, and then it like posts a link that's almost certainly to malware. But there's some other ones that happen as well that are like, wow, I love your, and then it copy pastes like your stream title. So for example, if it copied my stream title, it would be a bot saying, wow, I love your tactical refrigerator out to stream six channel points named Pokemon content. I'd love to make a custom overlay for you. Just click this link here stuff like that um your mouse is right over the delete button i always just dang it dang it dang it dang it if i haven't seen a mod freaking saying things for a little while i always just play it safe and i'm like yeah i'll just i'll just do it myself i'll do the freaking thanos of like i'll do it myself <laughs> it's what i oftentimes do well i was a giraffe in giraffe on like wrapper and not drapes like dra? Drap or dra I don't even know. So do you say drapion? Hawa? Ba barrel! A river dam by ba barrel will never overflow its banks, which is appreciated by people nearby. Huh, oh, well, give a nickname to the cop ba barrel. What's ba barrel's name gonna be? I think Aaron gets to name this because of the friggy channel points thing, Bob. What name are we getting? <laughs> what shall it be? What is the name of Bibero? Taco? Taco the Bibero! Will be sent to the PC box, was transferred to box one in Bib's PC. Okay, well, let's get out of there. Sure, so we got a Bibero. Where do you like to go? Um, area four, I don't know. Sure, let's go. I love how the whole train moves like just for me. That's it. From what you've heard, bait, bait, mud, bait, bait, ball is a strategy that always works? Really? Should I try it? Great Marsh Area 4? Is that a thing? 30 burgers robbed your- of your- wait, of your cheese fries, your egg -ry? 30 burgers? Is that the name of like a burger joint or something like that? I've never heard of it before, quite frankly. I'm sorry to say. But they didn't give you cheese fries! I'm sorry to hear about that. That sounds really tasty though, so it is a burger place. Yeah, news that- what? That was a misclick. I meant to hit, like, fight because for some reason I thought it was, like, a normal battle. But, uh... So, what was the thing? Well, Quakes are fled. Whatever. Whatever. My goodness. If it doesn't work, you'll waste 100 points you could spend on naming a Pokemon. What, with the absolutely nothing? No, not but Barrel. Someone else that we don't have yet. Maybe we'll go up more? Where do you like to go? Area one? Bait, bait, mud, bait, bait, ball. <laughs> I'll try it. I'll try it and see what happens. Like, let's see here. I'm stuck. Okay. And I'm stuck again. So what do we got here? Come on, something else. Something else. Something I haven't caught yet. Preferably. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, it's evening now. We barely even get any daylight during the sessions that I pop into this, do we? We don't exactly get a whole lot of daylight. Come on, come on, free. Not the barrel, not the barrel. Sounds like a scuff Street Fighter input. <laughs> oh, I remember back in the day, Whoop was like one of the few Pokemon I knew how to tell like the gender differences in the sprites from the way that it looked. Bait, bait, mud, bait, bait, ball. I'll try it. So it's apparently supposed to be something that always works. <laughs> oh gosh darn it. Oh come on! <laughs> Just immediately flees. But when you say it always works, does that mean that it would be something that like, if you throw the ball after that, it would guaranteed work? Not necessarily guarantee that it doesn't flee before then. I'll try it. Freaking rigged. 
You go upstairs in the observatory before you start your safari game. Check the marks with the binoculars. See the Pokemon you want. Ha where they happen to be. That's how you win. Really? Well, uh... Well... Jeez, well, I mean... Come on, why are there so many barrels? There's so many of them. There's countless of them. My goodness. Well, Pokemon you see here are different from day to day, don't you think so? Yeah. Yeah, totally. Okay, here's a whooper. A whooper. We're gonna bait. Bait, bait, mud, bait, bait, ball. What is this? Isn't the bait supposed to be the thing that, like, decreases its chance of fleeing? Isn't that supposed to be the case? Right? I don't know. Isn't... <laughs> isn't that the case? Hey, look at Yanma. Isn't that crazy? We could probably find out what Pokemon we can get here if I consult the tome. This is what we probably could do. Like, let's see here. Pastoria Great Marsh. Um, let's see here. So what does it say about this? So... You can move... The game is over once you've taken 500 steps, so conserve your steps by taking the train instead. Oh yeah, that. Throw food or mud. So throw food easier to catch... Oh, it's the other way around! So throw food is easier to catch, but also more likely to run away. And throw mud is harder to catch, but also less likely to run away. I got them mixed up. Was was a thing. Tangle was your first encounter here in your Nuzlocke? Intermesting? I mean, bait, bait, mud, bait, bait, ball requires six turns to use. Huh, I mean... No, it's more likely to flee if I throw bait. <laughs> What's this clip here, Shuck, called Denied? What was the- Oh, come on! My goodness. Oh, the denied was just like the trying it immediately and the fleeing, I guess. My goodness. So, observe the native Pokemon from the viewing area. Oh, and then it shows like who the... Here's a Tropius. Um, hold on. Let's see here. Astoria Great Marsh. So, apparently it changes what you can get after you get the National Pokedex. Apparently. Area 1 to 2. There's a lot of whoopers. Some barrels. Some Tropiuses, as long as it's not the night, it's just before the night. Quicksire, Yanma, Tangela, and Noctowl only at night. Then area three to four, you've got like Whoopers, Barrels, Quagsires, Yanmas, Tangelas, and pretty much all the same kind of stuff. Um, with a good rod, we can potentially get Barboach, but... You know, common to all areas before getting the National Pokedex. There's a chance of finding Carnivine, Scorpy, Krogon, Quagsire, Yanma, Tropius, Tangela. I mean, you have a name for this thing, but it isn't exactly PG. I'll try throwing the safari ball here. Put my bookmark back in the, back in the Tome of Truth. The Pokemon Platinum Tome of Truth and put it back on the thing. Oh, come on. Come on, man. Well. So I guess we have a limit of 500 steps in the thing. Like we can't just stick around until we run out of Pokeballs. Another Tropius. Another one. So it's more likely to run away if I throw a bait, but it's easier to catch. The far as is BS. Yeah, it, uh... Oh? Kind of seems like that could well be the case. We got a Tropius. We got a Tropius. Well, and Aaron, if you're still listening, you did technically redeem Name a Pokemon way earlier and then did it again, so you technically have, like, another Pokemon redeem that you can do. Those just fruits grew out from around its neck, because it always ate the same kind of fruit. Bananas? So if you have a name here, otherwise, otherwise I'll take suggestions and stuff about what Tropius' name should be. Banana Nanner? Something like that? Shenanig Bananer. Just Banana? I was gonna say, like, banana. That's what I kind of like the idea of. Is it okay to go banana? Because that's funny and stuff. Or do you want just banana? What is the... What is the command here? Because I can do it as just banana, but, uh... 
Name of your guys suggest that wasn't PG was oh that which is the first thing that popped into your head. My oh my. I'll take that as an A-OK -okay of banana. Will be the case, sure. And we'll try exploring down this away. See what's going on down here, I suppose. Another one. Well, I know that I gotta catch so many Pokemon for that one Poke Jap. So, even if I've caught them already, I might just start throwing Pokeballs anyway. Banana aligns better with the other nicknames anyway. Watching carefully. Yeah, let's check a bunch of Safari Balls. This is what we do. One, two, three. Cool, well. Neat, neat. I don't know if I'm gonna run out of steps anytime here soon. But it comes to that one challenge. Give a nickname to the cot Tropius. There, that. Banana, Harold, and I was a knob all stand together. And now we have banana whatever. Is who we've got added to the added to the group. You know, if I do manage to successfully transfer over, like, my save file on my computer here onto my 3DS, like, I can transfer 3DS save files to and from. I don't know about DS save files. I can certainly try it. But if I do manage to successfully transfer my save file of this game to, you know, my actual 3DS and get to transfer, like, all these Pokemon all the way into modern games, then I wonder if for, like, some big milestone or event or something like that, I did something where I, like, gave away all the, like, random Pokemon that we caught during the adventure, you know? And then freaking y'all nerds out there could have... <laughs> fan favors like banana na 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 in your own games you know if i do manage to successfully transfer over my stuff you know if that's something if that's something y'all will be interested in doing some sort of like giveaway event of you know the the pc box pokemon throughout this journey you know if you get a third tropius for its name have it start with a b then imagine five random letters I just see what happens. God, just Scorby was caught. Wow. I know what I should name him. I know. As soon as the tail claws close, its needle tips secrete poison and can survive a year without food. That is a whole long time. I wish I could survive that long without food. Name the Scorpy Fred. No, I have a freaking better idea for Scorpion over here. No, I don't have enough space for get over here. Oh, man. <laughs> wait, if I, t I should, wait, I was about to do like without the E there, but I just, <laughs> I just realized as I was, what if I just typed it, you know, the exact way that get over here is spelled with as much space as I could. And then the score, that, that Scorpion's name here, instead of being, get over here. It's just, get over her. Get over her. <laughs> it shouldn't amuse me as much as it does. Oh my goodness, because we don't have enough space for get over here. My goodness, yeah, freaking jam out. Jam out over there. We have the Scorpion named get over her. My goodness, Dubro Scorpy gives terrible dating advice. She wasn't the one. Get over her. Get over her. My goodness, I don't think I've ever actually played a Mortal Kombat game before. <laughs> My goodness, we can name this one Fred, I guess. I don't have names for these things most of the time. So if y'all want to freaking suggest me names in the Safari Zone without even redeeming the thing, then freaking let me know. There's Fred the Scorpion, I guess. For whatever reason. Let me out of here. Let me through. Let me in. Let me in. Screw it. I'll catch duplicates. Screw it. Whatever. We might run out of steps anyway. We'll see. We shall certainly see. One shake, two shake, three shake. The barrel. We got the barrel. <laughs> Name him Atlas 2. Something like that. 
Atlas is the... Oh, Morris redeemed name of Pokemon. Alrighty, well, what do you have for a name here for Babarel, Morris? You have Pokemon Monday with human names if you can't think of anything actually good. Get a Wooper and name it Elden Ring? I can try to get a Wooper. But, I mean, the Woopers have been a little bit tricky thus far. With an F and an R and E and a D and a Fred. Fred, yay? Was, is this a reference to something? Joker will be funny to you, but you want it? I can see if I can find a whooper. Otherwise, for beef. I was about to say for our beaver over here, but I freaking misspoke and said beef. And now I know exactly what I want to call him. Beaver. <laughs> beaver. All because I misspoke. My goodness. Just you over here being a musical theater nerd. Gotcha, gotcha. Jam out! Rock out, Scorpy! My goodness. Ah, my ear. My goodness. Well, you wanna get into the Pokeball? Jam out! Jam out some more! Shoot, it was so close too. Well, Scorpy flood, whatever. Can I see how many steps are left? Who knows? Who knows? I have no idea. We'll see if we even see a whooper around here. We'll run from the barrels. We caught a couple of barrels. Song of Love from Once Upon a Mattress? I've never heard of this before, I'm sorry to say. What have we here? More barrels. I think I've probably caught enough for that one Poke Jap. Poke Jap? Whatever. Probably? I'm not sure. Maybe I have at this point? I have no idea. Let me through. What's it gonna be? A Tangela? A Tangela, you say? We'll try bait. Princess's name was Winifred the Wobagon, but she told the Prince Winifred's a little too formal. You can call me by my nickname. No, <laughs> Winnie? Fred. <laughs> Fred, the nickname. Yes, yeah, I assume it's meant to be like a comedy kind of thing then. In that case, we're gonna get Tangela. Man! Don't you dare run. Oh, gosh darn it! <laughs> yep. Sounds about right. Hi. When you're walking on boggy parts, sometimes you might get sucked down. Pokemon might appear while they're struggling to get out too. Isn't that crazy? My, my. And this Mon Spaghetti in honor of your Tangrowth and your Nuzlocke? Well, I did. Well, there's another one! It was another one, though, apparently. Monch, monch. Pfft. Whatever. Whatever. So much for that. I'm... I'm fallen. And I can't get up. Whooper. Whooper. Maybe I'll just try throwing a Safari Ball, because every bait that I've thrown at a Whooper so far has had just instantly flee. Though I think it's been the same with, like, each Pokeball as well, though. Oh, okay. Oh, okay then. Tango is female, but you still feel like spaghetti is a gender neutral name. <laughs> well, when walking on land, it covers its body with a poisonous film that keeps its skin from dehydrating. Give a nickname to the caught whooper? Okay, well, I mean. So let's see here. Elden Ring, apparently, is the name of this whooper. Elden. And uh, there's just enough space for, like,. A space and a ring, it looks like. No idea what it's even a reference to. But I guess this whooper is being named Elden Ring. Being transferred to Beb's PC. That seems like. Let me out of here! I'm hopping down this way. And you can't stop me. You cannot do it! My oh my! And also more is coming out of nowhere something for three months now is saying, oh Elden Ring. Now I'm gonna have to update your freaking Bob in Discord here to three month sub. A new freaking roll. Well, bam, another roll added. My goodness, I appreciate the three month prime resub there, Morris. I know that you can only use the prime sub in one place each month. I appreciate you using it here <laughs> with the O Elden Ring with a message there. Yeah, we got the free Elden Ring whooper. Oh, Elden Ring. <laughs> o Elden Ring goes the bot. My goodness, I appreciate the three month 
sub enjoy another month of the emotes and sub badge and welcome back to team and harmonic and all the other stuff that i say that i don't even remember right now my goodness i'm out of here i think in my first playthrough or like one of my early on playthroughs way back when i think i actually got like a quagsire from the safari zone that was like one of my main team pokemon i think if i recall tangela I believe during the reveal event for Elden Ring, which I still don't know what it is, a Dark Souls like, there was a massive whooper event in Pokemon Go. That's the joke. That's what's going on here. As it's just those at the same time. I, whatever Elden Ring is. Oh man. Tangela. Man. None of the freaking Tangelas want to freaking hang out with me and stuff. Feels so bad. Quagsire. Acquire the sire. We will try throwing some bait. We will certainly try. Elden got an award for most anticipated game, but the Whooper Watch took priority. <laughs> Sounds incredible. Is it just me or do you fall into this like way too often? Acquire the sire. I can try throwing mud, I guess? Sure. Bam. Craig Sire is angry. Quag Angie. Much Angie Quagsire. Who does not want to go into the Pokeball? Quagsire is watching carefully. I'm throwing some more of these Safari Balls. That's what I'm doing. Man, the Safari Zone sure is something, isn't it? Safari Zone certainly is something. Freaking get into this Pokeball so I can finally acquire the Sire. We acquired the sire. God save the queen. We acquired the sire. My goodness. Now, I don't know if there's another emulation glitch, but you look at the, but look at the marsh very carefully. And if you see slightly darker spots, if you walk into those spots, you will always fall. Huh, what? Waterfish Pokemon. It has an easygoing nature. It, why is my neck randomly hurt? It doesn't care if it bumps its head on boats and boulders while swimming. Well, give a nickname to the Quag Sire. Acquire. Where's Q? I believe this is how acquire is spelled. I think, I don't know, don't quote me on that. Acquire the sire. Acquire the sire. That's in the cartridge version. Oh, like these square kind of bits? That you're seeing? The barrel. The barrel. Well, Safari Ball. Go ahead and check that. Man, man, almost had it. The barrel's watching carefully. I'll throw a bait and stuff. A scrub bits you will always fall in, huh? Well, I can try going into them, see what happens and such. Barrel's watching carefully. Throw a safari ball because memes and stuff. My oh my. Cool. Well, we got another, another beaver, another beaver. Anything else you won't fall. I've been falling into like everything. A nickname to the acquired barrel. Mmm. The barrel, huh? Biba. La Revolution. It's not gonna be enough space, but like. Biba La Revel. I just saw the Biba and I was like, you know, here's something dumb that I can make out of that. Biba La Revolucion is what the B-Barrel can be. Easy peasy. Instead of Viva. Or whoever the heck. I don't, I don't French. I don't. I'm out of here. Freaking leave me alone. Biba La Revo, top tier game composer. He really is. My goodness, I'm always falling in. My oh my. I'm starting to see some of these darker patches though. It's starting to make more sense. Well, I don't know why I'm trying to catch this whooper. I don't know. Well, the Pokemon broke free. Bro's watching carefully. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I got places to be. Yeah, so I guess it's like these darker patches and stuff, huh? Acquire the sire. I might have acquired enough sire though. I think I just need the one sire. Maybe, maybe. 
Can you encounter wild Pokemon in like the non-grassy bits? My goodness. It's rather irksome, isn't it? To say the least. I want to see something else that I haven't gotten yet, like Tangela. This is what I want to see, you know? And that's what I certainly wouldn't mind. Get a red shard real quick, add it to my collection. If you catch another whooper, name it whoop poop in honor of your eight-year-old self who thought that name was genuinely funny. As a throwback to stuff from forever ago. My goodness, why? Just leave me alone. Leave me alone, please. Oh my goodness, I just... Show me something else, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Also, I'm like slouching more and more in this chair as it's going on. Let me out of here. Let me out. Welp. Freaking... Ding dong, time's up, your safari game is over. Well, okay, well. There's that. We got a bunch of Pokemon, though. So, how many Pokemon do you catch in your safari game? At least five? Uh, yep, you've done that all right. Isn't that something? Well, here you are then. The Pokage app matchup checker. What does a matchup checker do for me? Matchup checker app shows the affinity of Pokemon to each other. In what way? What? Matchup checker? Uh. Lynn doesn't like the fridge, apparently. Apparently not. What about... I guess it's just like the two front Pokemon? Hmm. Really? Well, a test of two... Oh, a test if they're able to breed. Oh, I thought it meant like how much they like, you know, have like battled with one another or something like that. So it's just like if it's possible for them to breed at all. Okay, interesting. Intramisting. Good to know. Well, I'm gonna, like, never use this. Most likely. My, oh my. Hello, hello, Eagle. It's just nuts. Poker mans. It's poker mans. We just went and caught a whole bunch of Pokemon. Gave them a whole bunch of wacky nicknames and stuff. I don't need to go to the Pokemon Center, do I? I don't believe so. It's not like we did any battling in the Safari Zone. It was just trying out Safari Zone stuff. You know? Until Pokemon levels up and learns certain moves. Sometimes. So... I'm thinking now is about the time to challenge the Pokemon Gym. Well, Ed. Whoops. I'm not always going to plow into you every time we meet. So how's it going, Harm? Buffing up your Pokemon, eh? I'll test you and your Pokemon out to see how buff and tough you are. Oh, if only I brought my freaking... Buff Bee Barrel that we caught in the freaking Thingamabob. I forget what I nicknamed it already. Pokemon Drainer Michael sent out Soravia. Well, it's a good thing we had our electric type up first, our refrigerator, because we were preparing for the water type gym here. So that's cool. My oh my, think if you have a Zubat, you can pre with Star Raptor, you can get a Zubat with Brave Bird? What? That's a thing? <laughs> that sounds absolutely insane. That certainly sounds wacky to say the least. But yeah, I never knew what that freaking Pokemon Matcher Thingamabob was there. Welp. We'll go ahead and take out your star if you real quick. I wonder if your starter is fully evolved by this point. Probably not. You have a freaking weasel. Send in the refrigerator. Send in the tactical fridge that's going to be super effective against me. Against my tactical fridge. But it's fine. It's not even a stab move and it's not a very powerful move. But this is a stab move and it's super effective and it's decent. So this will do like way more damage to you. Is the thing. Yes. The refrigerator strikes again. The fridge strikes once more. You also breed Blaziken and Infernape to get a Chimchar with Blaze Kick. Lucario also gets Blaze Kick in the same way. Huh. News to me. I guess we'll go ahead and send in, send in Lin here. This is what we do. Sounds like a good plan to me. This is Dave Frosty with our refrigerator there. My oh my. All right, we'll go ahead and fly. My oh my, time to fly. I have a shiny Roselia in Sword and Shield. Interestingly enough, that I got during like Dynamax Adventures at one point. I do have that. Remember all the egg moves, but those two are the ones you remember the clearest. They definitely seem very spicy to say the least. 
Post Rosalia fainted. Gained some experience points. Cool, more experience for the fridge. You'll love to see it. Otis in Monferno. Well, time to actually use our water type for like the first time in this playthrough, basically. Maybe finally. Because we actually know a water type move now. Oh, you're so much higher level than I am. Yeah, I can tell you raise your Pokemon to be tough. Well, we'll certainly try. Oh, you are faster than I am. Okay, it's fine. Blarg! Here's another fun fact. Gardevoir can breed with a mug and make of that what you will. What the heck? Knowledge that can never be unknown now. <laughs> what the heck? Welp. Cool. Cool, we actually got to use our water type for like the first time in this playthrough. Isn't that something? Yeah, gain some experience points. You'd love to see it. Coolio, Julio, we get to level 30. Cool, defeated Pokemon Trainer Michael. What just happened? You're telling me I lost? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm telling you. Heh, <laughs> yeah. Maybe you did get a bit tougher since last time. That even shocked me a bit. So yeah, I got beat because I was careless. Oh yeah, I joined Mr. Wake as an apprentice. Really? Like, I want my own theme song. You want? You want to get your own theme song? Hawa! Also, fun fact, did y'all nerds know that this channel, in a way, almost has a freaking official theme song in a way that, like, I never mentioned and was meant for just, like, one series? A uh, content creator friendo of mine, Nuzlocke, I commissioned him once to make a theme for me for my Creators Collide series that only got one episode and I plan on rebooting it here in the near future, hopefully. But as of yet, it only has one episode. But I commissioned him to make a intro theme for this Creators Collide series that was all about me, like, playing games with other content creators out there and talking to them about, like, what they do and how long they've been creating content and stuff like that. And even though it was meant to just be, like, a so short intro tune, Nuzlocke did a whole... a whole theme, essentially. Like a whole couple minute theme called Better Together for this series. So, like, you can say it's for this series that only has the one episode that I'll freaking, you know, resume one of these days. You could also say that it's kind of a theme for, like, the chat. It could be if I wanted it to be. I freaking commissioned it from Nuzlocke here. So, like, the one music theme that is technically, like, a music theme that I can have to my name. If I pause this real quick. One could say that I might have a theme. Or at least my freaking... Creators Collide series that only has the one episode has a theme that this freaking hella chill thing that Nuzlocke here made who I would highly recommend checking out. He's a freaking really cool dude. Like, I remember when I went to like actually pay him for this. We never actually, you know, determined exactly what amount will be paid. And I was like, okay, I'm, that's a really cool theme. I'm willing to give you like, I don't know, 50, 60 bucks, something like that. And Nuzlocke was like, Whoa, I was expecting like 15 max. Like there's no way I could accept that much for this freaking commission and stuff. But event, so he kind of refused to accept the full payment. And eventually we settled on a middle ground. It was of either 25 or 30, something like that, if I recall. So yeah, this theme here is sort of like a theme for one of my series that I started. I don't know if I'd say that it's like a theme for like this channel, but it's a theme for one of my series that just got one episode, and I I will resume it one of these days. I promise I'll resume it, because the whole Creators Collide idea seems like a really cool series idea. I will I will totally resume it one of these days. But yeah, so that's a theme that I technically have, I guess. Pastoria City, Pokemon Gym, Leader, Crash Awake, the Torrential Masked Master. My oh my. Just imagine a muck and dill breach as a sludgy mess. Oh no, Skitty and Whaler can breed to that one I knew about, but I've already knew that since it's kind of a meme. Whaler can breed with a Pokemon that's even more absurd than Skitty, but you don't remember what it was. You want to say it was Diglett? Maybe something like that. My goodness. Whalord's breeding options, huh? 